What is going on everybody man? King Recon here. I know it's been a while since I've recorded a video. E3 took up all of my spare and free time this week, man. All video game related re related stuff was being consumed, man. I I was taking in everything I possibly could. It was a fantastic week. So many awesome trailers and so many things to look forward to here in 2018 and 2019 when it comes to the world of video games. But the time has come, man. The day has arrived. And a brand new chapter in the greatness and the awesome sauce of Kingdom. Has arrived, and I'm really, really stoked for this one, man. After, after the way that last chapter ended, with uh, honestly one of my favorite Shin moments, um, it's it's this is most certainly this is a very, very highly anticipated chapter for me. I could not wait to read this. I could not wait for this to come out. I see that it's out, so it's time for the awesome sauce. And I already love the title of the chapter, Volume Fifty Two, Chapter Five Hundred and Sixty One, Impact. Of that single swing. I already love the title of the chapter, man. Already loving it. So here we go. Here comes Gakui. Shin, what are you? Shin! Die! And Shin opens his eyes. You see the Nifu. <laughs> the Oki! And Shin goes right. Look, look at his eyes, man. Look at, look at, look at the... <laughs> I love that, man. I always refer back to Broly. Um, from 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 Dragon Ball, whenever his eyes would go white, like like that was like the mark out moment. You know what I'm saying? But here in in Kingdom, we've seen that quite a lot, and it's it's one of those like yeah, th their eyes are completely white out. They're in it, man. They're in the zone. They're going am. And here we see the swing from the way the Gakuei saw it, and it's over. Look at how high he went. I mean, Shin sent him flying. Man, dude, the instant that the Zhao's momentum was torn to shreds. Chapter 561, impact of that single swing. And it definitely did have a lot of impact just on the story itself. Like, not even just, not, not even just on the war, but on the story itself for Shin. That was such a crucial and important moment, man. It, it truly was. And look at that. We're going to see another panel of it landing and crashing down past it. And we see a lot of facial expression panels from all the no-pull-out guys. They're like, what's going on? Go look down. Oh, Shin! Oh, Shin! Gakuei-sama, Gakuei-sama. No, this can't be. He did it. Shin has slain the enemy commander. Oh, Captain! He did it, Aira. The captain did it. Our captain killed Gakuei. Captain! 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 Yes. Yeah. Well, what's wrong, Bihei? Why are you just standing there? Didn't you see it? Yeah, I saw it. I saw it all right. That was incredible. That just now truly was a blow worthy of a great general. No doubt about it. That's exactly the kind of stuff I wanted to see after such an incredible swing, man. After such a one shot, and after such a display of greatness from Shin, I really wanted to, to get these reaction panels from his squad from the Haishin unit and right here we have BA stating that that just now truly was a blow worthy of a great general no doubt about it and you see the tears coming down man because BA just like us have been going through this journey with Shin and up until this very, like, all, all the way building up all of that throughout the entirety of the story. And to see that, man. You know, even going back to chapter 1, I believe it was 172 was Oki's death. Um, going all the way back to that chapter. And to see how far Shin has come from then up until now. You know, this, the chapter starts off with the Oki Nfu. Nfu. Shin goes right down. Takes him out in one hit. I mean, eyes closed, looking at the surroundings, breathing in and breathing out. Comes right in front of him. Get out of here. Greatness, man. Absolute greatness. The excellent, excellent panel. A blow worthy of a great... I gotta save this panel, yeah. I have to. 
I have to a blow worthy of a great general. I, it's that that by itself uh, summarizes uh, what, what what we just witnessed. Whoa, he did it! Our captain, the Haishin unit's captain, has slain Gakuei. Man, that cheering seems to be ours. Kyokai. We can't tell from here, but the captain must have. Yeah. We not be, we not might we might not be able to see it. But I can I can think we can guess what just happened. That's right. She knows. She knows what my man's did. She knows what her man's did. Alright. Ma'am, the captain. We think the captain just calmed down even we can't tell from our, from that cheering. Yes, yes. Cardio ten. Shit. Good time to cut the celebration short, you guys. It's the it's the Chogaryu army. Look at how close they are already. And there's even more of them coming in behind. Full scale retreat. As planned, we'll have Kyokai's unit act as the rear guard. Let's get everyone out of here. Aye, ma'am. As we expected, the Chin soldiers most panicked by, by this retreat ordered were the men deep into the enemy territory around Shin. It's a retreat. Hurry. Mozhao from the other from the other battlefield are closing in. We need to get out. The reason being, it was exceedingly obvious to them that having lost their master, the Gakwe soldiers would throw themselves at Shin like demons of vengeance. Protect the captain! Here they come. But that did not happen. The Gakwe soldiers who had lost their master to Shin found themselves unable to approach him. The one swing of Shin's glaive that had claimed Gakwe's life had at the same time instilled a deep sense of fear within <laughs> Yo, my boy Shin, his king's hockey is blooming. His king's hockey is blooming. One swing was all it took. One swing. And you see this amazing close-up panel of not only Shin's face and the determination and the focus, but you also get to see the glaive itself, man. The very glaive that he just swung. The very glaive that he had trouble with early on in this very arc. And they're looking at it with fear. Look at them. Look at their eyes. They're shook. They're shook seeing this man on this horse, this legend, this great general of the heavens to be. The Gakuei soldiers who had lost their master to Shin found themselves unable to approach him. The one swing of Shin's glaive that had claimed Gakuei's life and at the same time instilled a deep sense of fear within them. King's hockey, bro. King's hockey. Let's move. Whoa! Not only that, but the impact of that one swing would also be felt at some mountains located slightly off in the Shukai Plains. By, by the heavens, how far did his King's Hockey go? The crows? What is that? Hogan? No. Nah. <laughs> we knew it we had a feeling we had a feeling bro we've been saying it time and time again Riboku does not go without using a strap card he does not go without using it. He doesn't go without pulling him out, man. I know that I hear people complain all the time about Hoken, man. But I cannot deny the fact that when I see Hoken in there, Hoken to me is like Brock Lesnar, man. When Hoken is there, the stakes are raised. When Hoken is there, you want to see what he says. When Hoken is there, you want to see what other people say when he's there because he's a tank. He's a legend within this verse. And when Hoken is there, and like I said, everything elevates. He is Kingdom's greatest part-timer. Or, or not the greatest, but in terms of a draw, that's what he is, man. He's a part-timer that when he shows up, it's automatically important. And we see him in the middle of nowhere. Oh, Woken. I mean, my boy woke up. He was probably in slumber, hibernating. He was hibernating from chapter 350 all the way back then, man, in the Coalition arc. He's been hibernating since then, man. It's the Battle of Psy. My boy's been slump. Sleep, man. I mean, out. 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 And what woke him up 
is are the cries of Shin's glaive, are the cries of Oki's glaive. Because if anybody knows what that blade sounds like, if anybody knows what that glaive sounds like when it's hyped, what that glaive sounds like when it's cleaving through enemies, it's flipping Hogan, man. Yo, of all the characters I expected to see in this chapter, this man has got to be Hogan, bro. And he lets out a, a large yell. The crows are sh <laughs> The crows are shook. This is so clean. We get to see right next to it a gorgeous, I mean, amazing panel of Hokey. It's like Hogan remembers. And he sees now that somebody close to that. You know, the, the, the next generation of Hokey. He knows. He feels it. He feels that glaive. He feels that presence. Can it be? Dude. Oh man. Oh. Shin's gotta slay him. Shin's gotta slay him. If Hogan shows up on the battlefield, Shin has to slay him. That will be the ultimate, the ultimate sign, man. Shin, Shin, bro, man. I mean, that would be masterful storytelling. That in the very same arc they receives Oki's glaive. And he slowly but surely has to master this thing. Right now he's swinging it, man. But he hasn't mastered it. But whenever he does master it, it would be beautiful. It would be perfect. If when he masters it, it is in the act of slaying Hogan, the man who took out Oki, bro. You can't write it any better than that, man. Dog. Hogan. Hogan. Oh, see the crows, man? They're spooked by Hogan's yell. Mountain tribe? Yo, Tanwa! We're now now we're heading back. It's like every single time that we get some sort of like inkling of oh, oh, oh I can't wait to see what's about to happen next. We switch over. Because I said the same thing last time about the mountain tribe, man. I was like, oh, I can't wait to see Yo Tanwa go at it with their chief. We switched over. And I was like, okay, I'll take it, man. It's the Haishin unit. I'll take it. In the words of my man Uzumaki Khan, man, I'll take it, I'll take it. And here we see, right after Hogan wakes up from his slumber, from hibernating. Woken up by the greatness of Shin. Shin's King's Hockey woke my boy up, bro. Here we see Yotan Wa. And we get to see the, tr I mean, they are going at it, son. The Battle of Savagery. Ryoyo. More news. New movement from the previously struggling Bajio army. Initially, they had been forced onto the, onto the defensive due to the ferocity of Goba's first wave. But thanks to Tajifu's unit taking to, the, to take, take to the front just now, it seems they finally managed to halt the enemy's advance. Bajio and his unit have also begun a simultaneous assault from the right. My main man, Bajio, is going ham. Look at this! Bajio's taking lives! And so is Tajifu, bro! With his club, I mean, a da, da, da. But my main man, Baggio, is smoking dudes left and right. Bro, the clout in this chapter, man. You got Shin's King's Hockey, Oki in some panels. You've got everyone putting respect on the future great general of the heavens. Then you've got out of nowhere, by that same clout, that clout woke up Hogan, the living tank. And then we switch over to Yotan Wa. And the mountain tribe, bro. The cloud, son. We believe this should this should allow them to take the offensive from, the, the offensive from this point on. As for the Figo army on the left, what is that man? 
Their king is still leading from the front as usual. Even now, their army is gradually pushing forward at the cost of heavy casualties. If they keep up this pace, then they should reach the enemy's army HQ in shortly. Danto-sama, we've lost Tanke. Ha ha ha! And what of the Heki army on the right? Ma'am! The Heki army. The Heki army on the right is. Look at Heki, bro! Pushing back the respective enemy the most out of all three armies! Heki? Heki? Heki's out here putting in that work! Yo! That junk says not only is he pushing them back, but he's pushing them the most out of all three armies. All three. The most out of all three. Heckies. Brother, brother, that man Heckies going ham. Hey, General Heckies unit is supporting the whole army from the center and leading them forward. Hecky Hecky said, man, I will not let that one mistake gauge me, man. I am going to move forward from that. Chokandono has fallen. Again, Rise Infantry have destroyed their enemy and are moving forward. Plug up the gaps. Good, we're being closely matched everywhere, but, but, but we're still making progress. With every step our unit takes forward, the surrounding men are invigorated to fight even harder. Hey, Kisama, look at that. Uh, it's the enemy HQ where their commander Boonen is. We've finally caught sight of their HQ. Excellent. We still have enough fighting strength to spare. All troops ass assume assault positions. We'll bring down the enemy commander Boonen in a single thrust. Boonen Sama, the commander is personally coming in. What an idiot. Yo. Yo, man. This was a fantastic sauce of a kingdom chapter, bro. It, it, it was. It was, man. Hara could not have booked a better a better after chapter to what to what we witnessed last week he could not have been have booked a better raw after pay-per-view because last week's chapter really was a massive moment and the way that he continued off from that showing up from different perspectives proceeded to show just the amount of damage that shin did after taking him out landing crashing down, seeing the emotional impact that it had on his soldiers, showing the emotional impact that it had on his soldiers, on the Hashi unit soldiers, with B seeing this legendary line that, that was now, that was, that just now truly was a blow worthy of a great general. No doubt about it. So such a fantastic panel. Kyokai putting respect. Ten putting respect. Going in. Everybody's retreating. Or they're expecting. They were expecting the Gakui army to come in full sworn vengeance mode, coming in like Summer for revenge. But they couldn't do anything. They couldn't do anything because they were shook by the king's hockey emanating from my man Shin of the high flipping Shin unit, bro. The future great general of the heavens had them shook with one swing. They couldn't do anything about it. They couldn't do anything about it. Look at this, bro. Not only that, but the impact of that one swing would also be felt at some mountains located slightly off from the Shukai Plains. And, bro, in the middle of nowhere with some crows surrounding him is the flipping dude. It is the part-timer of Kingdom. It is the man who, when he shows up, stuff goes down. From his very initial introduction, I always loved this dude's character for the presence that he brought onto the battlefield and to the manga. When he showed up, you felt a sense of danger, man. You, you feel it. You feel the strength, the hockey emanating from the page. And he has been woken up by the by the blooming, by the blossoming of Shin's clouds. And he reminisces, he hears that blade, he hears that glaive's cry. And he states to himself, I recognize that. And his eyes open and he yells out a massive yell. Let's out one massive battle cry himself. Spooks all the crows out of there, man. 
Hoken, bro. This is such excellent, excellent pages. I would, this to me is much more impactful than, than just having Hoken show up on the battlefield as a surprise. This is a surprise entrant. You know what I'm saying? In this arc. This, this arc has or, ha, already has so many big time players involved. That having something like this happen after such a massive moment like Shin finally taking that first big step towards mastering the glaive. And having the impact of that very, very attack. That very swing. Reach Hoken. And we get to see him again. But we only see his cloak. We get to see a little of his hair and his eyes, and you immediately know who that is. You immediately know who that is. Thanks back to Oki, we get this gorgeous, amazing panel of Oki, man. He yells out a cry. I mean, fantastic, bro. Fan flipping tastic. That's how you write a situation like that. That is how you write a chapter that takes place after such a massive moment. Because that, that, that just shows you as a reader that you're supposed to take this as a massive moment. You, Ahara is clearly showing you what the focus here for Shin's, for Shin's character arc and for Shin's story is, man. What he has to overcome in order to get to where we need him to be. Because I know damn well if he takes on Hoken and he pones him, not only is that going to be a massive step in terms of him mastering the glaive, or in terms of him as a leader, in terms of him as a person and as a character, going all the way back from 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 from, from Oki's death until now. But by Flagnarts, man, if that does not, and, and I'm not saying, just saying this as as a feat, I'm not just saying this as something that takes place on a battlefield. For everything that Shin would have done by taking out Hoken, by if by by them winning this war, he's gonna be promoted. He's going to be promoted. So not only will he have mastered the glaive by then, not only will he have, will, will he have taken out Zhao, not only, not only will he have taken out Hoken, but by that point, he will be a general. And it will have been something built up for such a long period of time in the story. See, this is why I love reading long stories. This is why I love reading series that go on past 500 chapters this is why i love my jojos my one piece my ippos my conans my kingdoms where long-term storytelling pays off and that emotional impact sticks with you and horror treats it and gives it the importance and the right amount of time that that, that it should have and only three panels Gage, going from the beginning of the chapter, you know, three panels, he was able to hype, hype us up for a future encounter between what is inevitable at this point, between these two. Between Hogan and Shin, man. And I'm excited, yo. I'm super excited. Because whenever he took him on at the, at the, in the Battle of Sai, I reread those chapters so many times because that, to me, just was such a massive moment for Shin's character. And now this is going to lead into yet another moment. You know, the massive moment for him. I can't wait. I can't wait. That is going to be amazing. I don't... Excuse me. I don't know when that's going to take place. And I know there's a lot of greatness that still yet to, that, that still has yet to be seen. But this is most certainly looking to to be one of the most uh, insane conclusions. Like Because everything right now, it's like Haruk is building on, building on, building on. And you know it's all going to culminate in these insane last couple of chapters with all the battles that we've been dying to see. All happening back to back to back to back to back in the main event, you know, like like we're still in the lower mid card of of this arc. When we get to that main event, bro, when we get to the higher mid card to the to, to, to the main event of, of 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 this arc right here, man, it's gonna be insane. It's going to be insane, and I cannot wait to see the continuation of this right here. Yo. It was excellent, excellent stuff. And then in the very next panel, to continue the clout, we see Yotan flipping wah. Not only is it Yotan Wa, but you see Tajifu's going ham. You see my main man, Baggio, smoking dudes with this tornado triangle circle X combo, man. They're going in. She asks about the Heki army, and my boy Heki is pushing back the army and the enemy most out of all of the armies, man. 
I mean, it's just excellent, bro. It's excellent. And now I'm going to assume the next chapter we're going to continue off with with, with Hecky, now going after flipping Boonin. So, listen, man. Just so many different things happening in this arc. But for Shin, bro, this is such a such an amazing moment. His, his clout is just continuing to raise and raise. I thought that him getting the glaive was... And it was perfect that that, that, that came out of chapter 499 because that to me is... It, it is the point where we are starting to recognize that Shin is getting closer to his goal than not being close. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he's, he's over the halfway point at this point to reaching his goal. That to me was the halfway point for him for him to reach his goal. I was going to begin that glaive. And to see all of his progression from not only from a, from 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 the from the standpoint of having the strength it takes to 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 be a general but to be able to calmly analyze a situation in battle like that and to take out somebody in one swing and that one swing is powerful enough to not only shake your enemy but to awake others within the world who we know is our top tiers is is go to me man it is amazing to me bro and it just gets me excited because I'm like, well, after this arc, where do we go then from from then in Kingdom? Like, where do we go from there in Kingdom? It's an exciting time, man. But regardless, yo, this was an excellent chapter. This the, the, this chapter to me is 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 it honestly it's on the same level as last chapter as five sixty. I mean, two back to back fantastic chapters. Um, just the way the horror did it. The way that he structured the panels, the way they structured his story, um, all the build up to this very moment, then the after chapter and this chapter just just laying off so well from that man, treating it as the important milestone that it is, and it was it was great, it was great man, and then a Hogan sighting just great stuff man. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. This was a great 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 kingdom chapter great stuff man i look forward to seeing your thoughts down below let me know what y'all thought about this about this kingdom chapter let me know what you think is going to happen here in the near future in kingdom um hoken versus shin is most certainly about to be a five-star classic uh incoming man that, that, that's definitely going to be a, a great one um but we'll see what happens right here with with shin or with uh hecky and boonin man i'm happy for hecky i'm happy that hecky's getting his time he's going in he's, he's he's getting his cloud up so that that was some good stuff but i'll see y'all next time have an awesome day kingdom greatness and i'll see y'all next time